Today I will quickly walk through the process of getting an IFTDIS account. To start, I'll go to iftdis.firenet.gov. I'll click on the login prompt in the top right and the register button at the bottom of the login prompt. Now I'm prompted to create a username. This will be visible when creating summary reports in IFTDIS, so I'll make sure it's one I don't mind sharing. Next, I'll enter a first and last name and an email. The email will be used to send the temporary password to access IFTDIS for the first time. It will also be used for future notifications and password resets. I'll enter a security question and answer and provide one line of information on how I plan to use IFTDIS. For non-federal accounts, this aids the support desk in new account approvals and it helps the development team to know how IFTDIS is being used. When ready, I'll click register. I'll check my email for a temporary password to access the system for the first time. Note that this may get auto-filtered into the spam folder. For federal users, your .gov email will automatically be approved and you'll only see this email from IFTDIS. For all other users, you'll also see an email from the support desk as well to let you know that your account has been approved and to look for your temporary password in your email box or sometimes the spam folder. If you get the support desk email but don't see the other temporary password email, reply back to the support desk email and let them know. Sometimes the emails from IFTDisk get bounced back by the email client and the support desk can get your password to you another way. I'll copy the temporary password, go to the IFTDisk landing page and log in with my username and temporary password. You see I'm immediately taken to the rules of behavior. From there, I'll approve the rules of behavior. You see I'm immediately taken to the password reset page where I can create my own password. I'll paste the temporary password one last time, put in my own, and click continue. And I've just created my IFTDIS account. From there, I can go back to the landing page, Log in with my username and password and start using IFTDIS.